Hi guys, I'm here today to share with you a design team project for Craft Supplies 1. So this is my first project for October. So what I created was an altered cigar box. And I'm actually doing this for a swap. And um, so what I did was I got one of these boxes. It's from Michaels. And this one was one of the ones that already come painted. So it was already pink because I was going to paint it pink anyway. So I figured I might as well just buy the one that's already done. So um, the first thing I did was I laid down this flat lace right here. And there's actually about three strips. It's a pretty wide lace. Laid that down. Um, use this lace right here to trim around the box just to give it a little bit of a border. Um, I took this frame right here and this was like a silver, silverish color. And I got this from Marla, thank you Marla, um, in a swap that we did. And it was a set, it came with two, this one and a smaller one. Um, so what I did was I gessoed it and then I sprayed it with some of my homemade um, Glimmer Mist spray. And then on top of that, you can see the little sparklies. Um, I went over it with some stickles just to give it some shine. And then in the corners here, I added some flowers. And these are from Craft Supplies 1. And then these little sprays right here. So on this one, I added these. And then in this corner, I just did the flowers. Really pretty flowers I love. And then in this corner right here, I added these sprays. And these are the light pink ones, and these are from Craft Supplies one as well. And these come in either a light pink, um, a white, and also a light purple. Very pretty, very shabby chic. Um, between um, all these sprays, I added these little crystals right here. And those come, let me see if I have one handy here. They come on a big spray, and they come like this. And all I did was cut them off and just kind of tucked them in different places. So I did these flowers right here. And those are also from Craft Supplies 1. And there's another spray on the side with the little crystals tucked in. And then um, in each of the corners I added this lace right here. And all I did was basically kind of make like a fan and then just glued it down on each side. And then in this corner right here, um, I added some more of the sprays, added some more of the little crystals, tucked those in, added some pearls, a little cameo, and then added this flower right the here. Cameo. This is a um, flower from Wild Dogger Crafts, and I just sprayed it with some of my homemade glimmer mist. And then around the box, as you can see, I added this real pretty trim right here from Craft Supplies 1. So, um, these three trims are all from Craft Supplies 1. There's this one. And then there's this trim right here that I added in the center. And this comes in pink. Well, it's white and has little pink um, accents on it. And then I added this trim right here. This is the, the small one. And this has organza with some um, satin ribbon on top of it. And it comes that way. And that's available in a bunch of different colors. And then on the front right here, I added these flowers, and these are all from Craft Supplies 1 as well. So there's some of the little tiny pink flowers and some cow lilies. And then um, right here, I took these off. These are some petals. It comes as a whole flower, and I just took the bottom petal off. Um, these same ones right here. And just put them right there. And I just did that all the way around the box with the lace and the trim, I mean. So, um, that's the cigar box that I did. I think it turned out really cute. I hope the person that's getting it likes it. Um, and since I'm sharing, I'm going to show you a couple other projects. So I made this to go along with it, and this is just an altered frame. And I found this frame at Target in the dollar spot. And it was already this pink color. So all I did was add some of these really pretty flowers that come from Craft Supplies 1. And these are just some of the little pink roses. And then I added some of these white porcelain flowers that I think are super cute that I love. Added a piece of trim right here. And this comes from Craft Supplies 1 as well. And the, this right here is the same as I did where I cut these off. It actually comes like this. If you can see like right there. There you go. 
Um, so I just kind of glued that down, added this little crystal butterfly right there, and then just stickled over everything because I like it to sparkle. So there's lots of shimmer on it. Just added this little image right here into the middle. So it's just a little frame and it, it stands up. Just like that. So I made that. And then um, I did an altered... Um, what do you call it? Altered wine cork? Probably can't see my cork, but it's in there. So it just looks like this. Um, I went around it with some different laces and then some of the mesh bling from Craft Supplies 1. I added these little flowers and put some pink stickles over the top of it. I added this cameo with some trim around it. I added a bunch of um, different trims right here. The bottom. Some of my favorites. And then just added some more flowers at the top. Added this um, piece of pearl trim as the hanger so it just hangs and so that looks like that and then um i did this little glass scene bag right here and i got this flower in a swap and i just added a little piece of crochet doily and a little bit of trim to it just to make it a little bit fluffier and i added on top of this little glass scene bag which i put a little I put a little goodies inside added some mesh bling to it just a little something and then um, I did this um, altered coffee sleeve so I made this flower for it right here I had this trim I used some um, what is it called London market paper covered that added this trim right here from my stash added some mesh bling that I love and then that flower I had made using just some different trims and some eyelash um, trim as well and a button as a center. So just a couple simple little projects um, to go along with it. And then besides that I just did a little altered um, TP roll because I like making these. They're a lot of fun. So that just looks like that and I just went with some London Market paper. You guys know I use that a lot because I really do love it. Added this trim right here, this ruffle trim that's from Craft Supplies 1, and then some mesh bling that's also at Craft Supplies 1, and there's all different colors, so pretty much whatever color you're looking for, I'm sure you'll find it there, because I have most of it, and that's where I mostly got it from, so I'll be sure to check that out. And I added some to the top as well, and then as the handle, I added this braided trim right here that also comes from Craft Supplies 1, super pretty, and this is available in a few different colors as well. So I did that one, and then um, I did a couple more handmade flowers, and they just look like that. And I already packaged those up. So um, that's my box, my one of my design team projects. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.